please add another paragraph saying that I bought a gift for him and want to give it to him in class. Okay, so now we get a longer email that adds another sentence here. Also, I bought a gift for you and I will bring to school on, with me on Monday so I can give it to you in class. Molly my bean. Molly my bean. Now what we're going to do is write an email. So, for this we're actually not going to use the Gmail API yet. We're going to write the email using OpenAI. So, what we're going to do is import OpenAI. So, yeah, let's head over to the reference for OpenAI. Let's get a chat completion, which is what we want. So, we're going to use Python. Copy this here. And straight from the example, uh, paste that in to our file. Okay, so if you look at what this is doing, basically we are getting a chat completion given a array of messages, and this is for GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 if we want. So what we need to do is set up the OpenAI API keys. What you want to do to set up the API key is just type export and then type OpenAI API key equals and then paste in the API key in quotes like that and then hit enter and it will be saved to your local environment and you can use it later. So obviously I did that off the recording and now we should be able to run this. So write email and let's see what we get. Okay, so we get this response. Um, it's basically an object giving you the response here and you know we're probably just going to want to use the content there so just return the content hello how can I help you today okay so that's what they replied to hello the thing with GPT 3.5 is that it can take in a system message which is basically a default kind of setting that you kind of give instructions to the model before you start talking to it. So you can tell it what its job is, what its capabilities are, or give it some context before you talk, start talking to it. That's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to begin by giving it a system prompt. So what we're going to do is go back to the text editor we had before and we're going to write up a prompt with these example emails that we have. Okay, so for the prompt, we're gonna say, please write an email in the style of the user given a prompt and the sample emails below. Maybe we wanna add, don't be too formal. Keep the email brief and don't add additional information, just express what the user says in the prompt. We're gonna copy this over here. We're gonna say system prompt equals. We're gonna use triple quotes in Python, which, is, which are good for having these long strings. So let's write uh, samples here. Have a prompt in the next message. So what we're gonna do is pass in the message role. We're gonna say system and we're gonna say content um, and we're just gonna pass in this system prompt. So now let's go ahead and ask the user for the prompt. So, okay, so we're gonna say input, describe the email you want and then we're gonna say that that is the um, prompt and then we're gonna press pass in the prompt and maybe we want to say user prompt so we don't get them confused let's run this again so this time it's gonna ask me to describe the email I want I'm gonna say I want to ask my friend John where to meet up for the orchestra rehearsal tonight at 6 p.m. Okay, so we're gonna hit enter. 
and we can see it has drafted us an email. Okay, so, you know, one problem, it says thanks and then your name on it, so it's not really giving us what we want. We kind of want to include our name as a default, so we're going to say assign the email as Ian Samir, and then maybe include that in our examples. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so now we have this little email. Do you want to grab ice cream later today? I was thinking about going to Baskin Robbins around 6 p.m. Let me know if you're interested. Best, Ian Samir. So, very solid email, straight to the point, um, informal tone, which is exactly what we wanted. And we're only using GPT 3.5, so it's not even the most advanced model. So, with GPT 4, this would actually be a little better, but it might be, you know, a little slower, a little more expensive. And what we actually want to do is actually continue to keep taking in advice from the user in order to get the final completion. So we're actually going to make this code a little bit more complicated. So what we're going to do is first of all store the reply in a variable like this and then what we want to do is basically append the reply to the messages and we need to put it in an object. So. Just write that here and then change the role to assistant because the assistant is saying the reply and then maybe take this put that here so it's a variable and then pass in messages as messages okay so what we want to do is continue this process of appending the messages with the new replies until the user is satisfied with what they have written. So what we're going to do is put this in a function. So def write email. We're going to take in a prompt. We cannot define the messages variable inside of the function because we reference it when we append the prompt. So we're going to start it off like this. You clean it up a little bit so make sure to append everything as an object to the messages array okay so we're gonna say write an email to John explaining that I can't make it to his birthday party because of a family vacation that I just learned about but that I will see him at the album release party on Friday okay and then after you append the new reply to the messages you actually want to return an input please type quit if satisfied what that's going to do is for this while loop we will actually return something and then continue the sequence until we type and we're gonna print the reply here so that we see it on the console. So, what I'm gonna do is python write email.py. Okay, so please explain to John that I can't make it to his birthday, but that I'll see him at the album release party on Friday. Okay, so we're gonna wait. We see this email, and let's say we're not satisfied, so we wanna say, maybe please add another paragraph saying that I bought a gift for him and want to give it to him in class. Okay, so now we get a longer email that adds another sentence here. Also, I bought a gift for you and I will bring to school on, with me on Monday so I can give it to you in class. So sometimes it'll add extra information that's unnecessary so realistically if you're actually making an app or something you would want um, a way for the user to edit these easily but for our purposes generally given that we prompted it to not include extra information we're going to trust that at least on the first try it won't include much extra information so now that we're done we're going to type quit and as you can see the program will end
All right, so we basically successfully created a little AI chatbot that will help us draft and continue to improve an email we want to write based off a prompt. So we don't actually have to write the email. The OpenAI chatbot will do that for us.